We have example of South Africa. Previously, when the white apartheid government ruled South Africa, they arrested Nelson Mandela and imprisoned him in Robben Islands for more than 25 years. And they called him the terrorist number one. When South Africa got its freedom, the same terrorist number one becomes the president of New South Africa. And later on, he gets the Nobel Prize for Peace. Not that he was bad and he became good for the same activity for which he was called terrorist number one. Later on, he gets the Nobel Prize for Peace. <laughs> Can you imagine terrorist number one in the world getting Nobel Prize for Peace? So what we realize that whoever is in power, whatever label is given, it gets stuck, whether right or wrong. So today media is very powerful. Whatever label the media gives, unfortunately, it gets stuck, irrespective of whether it's right or wrong. That's why I said, today, media is the most powerful weapon in the world. It can convert black into white, day into night, hero into a villain, villain into a hero.